morning everybody happy hump day time for your morning fishing report it was 61 degrees when i left the house this morning i got a late start seems i needed a little extra sleep this morning i uh left the house it was 61 winds blowing out of this uh out of the west southwest probably oh i don't know it's probably blowing all at 10 a lot of stuff floating around on subsurface there we go broke free southwest wind oh it's it's on the better side of 10 come on i just thought i got rid of that big chunk of weeds and now i got it again Still a lot of floating debris down here. Probably will be for another couple weeks. Haven't seen any of the weeds start to die off yet. Uh, it's still too early, still too warm. Water temperature with the splash test with my feet. Don't know how much longer I'll be able to do this, but uh, actually every time this morning my toes got cold, I dunked them in the water and it warmed them right up. So that water temps are still in the 70s. Probably low to mid 70s still, I would assume. Uh, Beautiful day, had a gorgeous sunrise, my lord. I love a sunrise when there's some clouds and some stuff in the sky as opposed to just a clear sky because it gives it a little bit of texture, a little bit of interest. There's more things to look at, you know, visually it's a little more stimulating. And boy, did we have a dandy this morning. I come underneath the 81 bridge and, and you could see that, so, so the sunrise was on the left-hand side and it had this long, sweeping pink cigar cloud that went all the way to the west, or sorry, all the way to the east, right down the middle of the lake. It was uh, it was gorgeous, it was breathtaking. I stopped and took a picture of it. I'll put it up uh, on Instagram when I when I get in. Uh, it's gorgeous, gorgeous. I I love to I love to see it. I love to see it every morning. I love to see it. So. I hit three different spots here on the west end. Uh, let's call it the 133 drift. I started, I started west of 133, about a half a mile, with that southwest breeze, that southwest wind that's pushing me across the channel, across the big flat, uh, pushing me north. I, I I moved three different times, and I I haven't I haven't done anything. It's 7:30 now. By the time I got out here, it was. 25 after 6 so I've had an hour to fish this morning and I fished it pretty hard to no avail you know is what it is fishing's fishing baby fishing's fishing I have caught an abundance of salad and even some fresh seafood to go along with my salad tons and tons and tons of zebra mussels so we have, we're over 1,500 now. We're gonna do a giveaway. I spent the evening thinking about it. I don't have any, I don't have anything, you know, crazy in mind. It's gonna be everybody today, if you listen all the way to the end, everybody today that likes and comments on this video in YouTube not where I share it on Facebook or Instagram if you like and comment this video here in YouTube that's all you have to do and tomorrow morning so it'll be for a full 24 hours tomorrow morning when I get back Tomorrow morning when I get back from fishing, no, I'll announce it tomorrow morning. All right, so tomorrow morning before I go, I'll, I'll put all the names in a hat and I'll pick a name tomorrow morning from everybody that has liked and commented on this fishing report this morning. That's what we'll do. So until you got until tomorrow morning about 5 a.m., to like and comment on this and, and that enters you to win the giveaway and I'm going to give away a t-shirt of your choice 
and a pair of uh, in the in a pair of Awakening Angler stickers. That's what we're doing. So you're gonna like and comment. You're gonna keep the weeds off my lure. If somebody could please do that, so I could catch fish, I, that would be greatly appreciated. And that's that. So that's that's the morning report. That's our 1,500 subscriber giveaway. Thank you so much, everybody. We keep growing every day, and it's 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 so humbling and gratifying. I also want to do a big shout out. I think Courtney and I've been to the fair now three times today, or three times so far. We got a couple more to go. Last night, I'm going to tell you something. My wife has been looking forward to the Culture Club Boy George concert since they announced it. It was over at the back Chevy stage behind the Expo Center last night. And yesterday when I knew we were going, I kept thinking to myself all day, I'm a kid of the 80s, so I mean, it's not like I don't know their music. I, I wasn't a fan necessarily, that really wasn't my scene as a kid, but I tried thinking last night and all day yesterday before we went to the show, like, what's it gonna be like? You know, this is a band and a guy that, you know, their front guy that back in the day was controversial and was this and was that and and what kind of crowd was going to be there and what was my expectations of it. and But no matter what, it, I was going because my wife wanted to go. And she's been to a lot of concerts that she could care less about that I really want to go to. And so if for, if for no other reason, just to return that favor to her was was wonderful for me to be able to do. From the moment he walked out on stage and the whole band came out and it was a full blown, cause I didn't know what it was gonna be like, you know, two guitarists, a bass player, two drummers, a keyboardist, three backup singers, and Boy George in front. He was incredible, incredible. He did an absolutely amazing show. I thought they sounded great. In between songs, he would stop and take a moment to talk to the crowd, and he was very engaging, extremely positive, extremely positive. Every message, every song, everything he did had that beautiful, positive vibe that all of us here have come to know and love so much. I believe in live music. I thought that last night on the way home, driving home from the fair, with Courtney. I believe in live music. And I think last night showed me something in a lot of ways. And I obviously was meant to see it and understand it and feel it. And and that is expectations going into something or preconceived notions usually hurt the person having them. And, and it, it dulls your ability to see and experience things the way they're supposed to be done. Um, and again, I believe live music is such a conduit. It, it speaks to so many people in so many ways. And there is something to be said for professional musicians playing and, 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 and showing you and listening, you know, playing for you their wares. Couldn't have enjoyed it more. And I look forward, I don't know who else we're going to go see. There was a couple other ones I thought that we wanted to go see. I will give the fair kudos in the respect that they've got two stages going with free music through the whole fair every single day. I, I like that. I like that. You know, the fair's got a lot of, there's been a lot of changes at the fair from a kid growing up. It's a whole, it, it looks completely different. There never seems like now to me with with how they went last year and went way to my, and I guess in their opinion too, they stretched it way too long. You know, the fair when I was a kid was nine days. It was, it was two weekends and then the week in between. And it ended on Labor Day on Monday. And boy, there would be 100, 110,000 people a day. Now, yes, it was packed, but I think that was part of it. You know, there was such a, there was such an upstate New York communal feel to to it, and it was wonderful. And and it was like, say, as a high school kid back in the '80s, you know, we went to the fair every day. You'd get back in those days. I I think you can do it now. I don't know. You could get a pass to go to the fair every day. So that's what we did. 
and, and we always, and you'd go to the grandstands, if everybody remembers the grandstands, those were pay concerts, but we'd go to some of those. Um, so last night and so far, we saw Foreigner the other night. I've never seen Foreigner before. Everybody knows Foreigner songs. They've been played on, you know, locally, TK99 and all the classic rock stations forever and ever. Uh, they were sounded great, sounded great. And you're thinking, you know, ah, these guys are has-beens and they're on a free concert stage at the State Fair. And it wasn't it at all. It wasn't it at all. And it, they, they sounded great. Everybody, I, I was super into it. So get out, do something fun, even if it's outside your comfort zone. You could say the same thing for fishing. You know, I've been I've been poking around a little bit here lately, trying to do some different things because my standard go-to isn't going right now. And if I had electronics and I could go and find these fish, that might be different. I don't, so I'm fishing spots from memory that I've had success here in the last well, all summer because I've been I've been on the jet ski now all summer long and so my go-to is not quite working now I haven't had any you know knock them dead success on some of my other things whether I've been throwing swim baits or or weightless soft plastic jerk baits or or even throwing the throwing the spinner rigs and the worms I personally haven't had a ton of success but that doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop being curious as to what else might work or where else I might catch fish just like I'm not going to be I'm not going to stop being curious about life what life has to offer me you know what what every day of my life has to offer good bad or indifferent we learn from everything but I'm not going to I'm not going to prejudge whether I'm going to enjoy something or not before I've had the chance to to see if I enjoy it so that's my that's my few minutes this morning I hope every single person out there has a great day. I hope every single person finds something today that, that surprises them and brings them joy and, and, and it's a gift that, that you take in. I really wish that for everybody every day, but I'm gonna say it to you today, I'm gonna put it in your mind and I'm gonna say go find something today that, that makes you happy. Feel free to tell me about it. I love to hear good stuff. I love it, I love it, I love it. You guys could send me messages about good things that happen to you all day, every day, and I would love reading them. And last thing about the fair, we've been there three times, and I really want to say thank you to every single person that has taken time out of their life and their day and their fun to stop and say, hi Matt, I watch your show, keep your tip up, all that stuff, because I've had it all. I've had it all and it's so wonderful to meet people anyway, but it's so wonderful for me and gratifying to have somebody come up and say, thanks, man, I watch your show every day. Thanks, I think it's great what you're doing. Man, thanks, I, I, I love you talking to Jake about our lake and anything. I love when you guys went out with Tony and you and Mike went out with Tony and, and, and I, you know, Don said to me yesterday, my buddy Don Birdie, somebody came up to the fair at him yesterday and said, hey, you're that one of those guys that fishes with the awakening angler and he was blown away so all of those things are amazing and wonderful and i love it and i want to thank every single one of you so i'm out of here 13 and a half minutes almost 14 man i talk too much thanks everybody keep your tip up have a great day